Welcome back, guys. Uh, we are just setting out on our fourth expedition. Is that right? Yep. Okay, fourth expedition. To um, the special lands we unlocked. Yes, uh, we did meet the widow down at the docks. Uh, the, the, the widow of Velia Atki. That's quite a name. Uh, and we did not bring her husband back to her. I find it funny that they, they issue her a toughness as huh. if she can come with us. That's really strange. Yeah. Again, games in alpha. Maybe there's going to be more depth later. <laughs> oh, I, I totally expect there will be. I'm, I'm looking forward to there being more than about two quests per. Uh, I think right now there's mm -hmm. like a total of ten quests, and they're all pretty much the same. Go out there, find a thing, bring it back. Go out yeah. there, find a guy, bring him back. That, that's actually right now my only, my only actual complaint about the game is that they have a lot of different types of challenges, but yeah. each of the challenges have one to two variations. Yeah. So it becomes extremely predictable. Yeah, I would say that's I would say that's kind of why it was easy for me to develop a rhythm with the mm -hmm. game. Is exactly. That, uh, it, it it felt really familiar at times. That's not to say that it's bad because honestly, the familiarity is kind of fun. <laughs> no, no, I, I agree. I think though th that right now. Um, oh yeah. Conrad once you figure out how to beat the game, you basically always can beat the game, um, so long as you follow that same strategy. Now, I, I don't feel as though that the they're they are limited i don't think it's always no. going to be that way because when they hit full release there's going to be so much variety it's that those strategies will become obsolete i hope so i sure hope so um, yeah I, I at least i hope so too i suppose they run the risk of you know still not introducing enough yeah. variety but um they certainly have the framework for it all right so we're setting out to an expedition to a place that i've never been before but it did talk about water temples and wet areas and grasslands so i'm taking lots of rope i'm taking uh i think i'm going to take all the machetes that i can because uh, i predict forests you know what they really need is a like a raft um oh, yeah, there needs to be some way lakes. of exactly there needs to be a way to traverse water yeah there's a there's a couple of ways to do it. There's there's a couple of places like in the prehistoric lands where there will be like fountains that shoot up out of the water and temporarily turn it into a swamp. Yeah, those are okay. It's kind of fun because if you're on them when the water recedes, you get washed away and mm. then you get taken back to a random shore with maybe some of your equipment missing. Yeah, yeah. It reminds me of the old Oregon Trail when you tried to ford the thing. <laughs> you'd always, you'd always flip and you'd always lose half your stuff and then everybody would get dysentery and then you'd die. But you, you still had to try. God, being eight taught me a lot of hard lessons. <laughs> <laughs> At least being eight in our generation. Yeah, right? <laughs> All right, here we go. Um, new, Totally new area. I still... Oh, I do have a, uh, a region point, and I'm going to go ahead and give it to Sergeant William Macy, the guy that I just picked up. I wonder if his middle name is... Uh, middle name starts with an H. Is this William H. Macy? <laughs> I think it is. All right, uh, here we go. Abomination, please, please don't eat the other donkey. We might be able to buy meat here. If we can, we should. That's actually a good point. Ah, oh, hey, look, it's the guy. It's oh. the guy that we're here to find. How about that? Let's escort him home. Is he not going to... Uh, he's, he's not coming back with us. He never comes back with us. No. All right, let's fight him. All right, uh, Abomination... Are you on our side? Yeah, he's he's on your side. He just faces the wrong direction. There, I have noticed that sometimes the arrangement of the characters in the battlefield can be very confusing. Did you? All right, so this Especially is... Especially when you have a raptor in your party. Yes. Sometimes it's just like, I have, don't know who I'm killing. When you have a raptor in the party, sometimes the raptor doesn't show up on the screen. <laughs> and sometimes when you fight a group of native villagers, there's one villager who will pop up up here. One what? shaman will appear up there. What? So I was like, I'd killed my way through the entire group, and it was still telling me to roll. And I was like, why? And then I looked up there, and I was like, that guy still has three health left. What the hell? <laughs> so sometimes when you're fighting natives, look up in this corner here. Like, try and find them. Uh, yeah, all right, such so, is the nature of alpha builds. Yeah, it's fine. I still have a lot of fun with this game. Uh, right, oh, it still is amazing. I, I agree. This is shitty. Shitty. I like the interaction between the attack and defense dice, the way that they can stack up mm -hmm. either way you like it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that one, and then I'll just do a quick shot because I don't have anything else. I could have, I, I suppose I could have thrown extra bullets in there, but eh, I don't, I don't really think he's going to deal enough damage no. to do anything anyway. He deals one. Oh no. Damage <laughs> goes away at the end of every fight. It doesn't stick around unless. Which the character, I really like. Yes, unless the character is totally knocked out, and then it does. And he's dead. And then you use a, a med pack or, or a red mushroom. Okay, I'm gonna trade. We can't get any meat here. Oh boy. Okay. Um, All right. Well, I mean, here's to hoping, I guess. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we could I... we could try to recruit another donkey. We could try to recruit another donkey. I like that. I'm gonna try and take the rest of their rope, and it's gonna work. Wow. Awesome. Uh, nope. I can't recruit anybody else. Well, I guess. Here's to hoping. We're out. Too bad we can't feed whiskey to the. Uh, 
the abomination. The abomination. Yeah, they don't they don't they don't like strong drink. They prefer raw meat. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, this is a this, this region is it's very really basic. Yeah, it's very grassland. Um, I feel like okay, so there's a lot of water. Wow. Okay, there's the answer to that to that question. Okay, so I'm gonna go here and find out what this is. Then I'm gonna get this temple. And it's then I'm, getting oh, oh no, we might oh, get no, washed. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Okay. I'm wow! Gonna, barely. There's two shrines like right next to each other. I don't. There, I don't there. think. I don't think it's a good idea. Let's well, we could see. Yeah. Thick layer of dust, dust means actually, that's awesome. Dry lands. Yeah, dust is gonna get rid of that water. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna use the rope because I have 20 of it, and I only have four climbing gear. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we're gonna get up there, and we are going to raid the shit out of this. Okay. Of course, the downside of moonstones. dry lands. We have to raid all the temples. Oh. Uh, moonstones are how how moonstones work is there are some places uh, that are like super advanced areas, and instead of having the seals that you have to unlock to get to the golden pyramid, instead the golden pyramid is locked, and you need to put a certain number of moonstones into it to get through the door. Really? So if you don't raid all the temples and you get to the golden pyramid and you're just barely surviving, and there's a temple like fucking two hundred days behind you, and you didn't raid it because there was a moonstone in there, and you needed to open this door, you are fucked. I've wow. had it happen before. I've actually. I see I've encountered moonstones a lot yeah. but I've never actually seen that scenario so we're about to see what happens when you have the dry lands thing which I think is just going to go ahead and dry out all this water which would be awesome because I don't really want that there of course we don't have any water to drink rushing so. water that's okay I mean you could go here and then backtrack to the dry lands it's another moonstone so I have to take it and I have to take it now um I'm gonna go ahead and just get up on top of this hill because hills can't get washed away, uh, which is why the uh, uh, oh James oh I have to protect him, yeah uh, he's he's my diplomat I'm I'm gonna protect him all right uh, abomination our time together has been nice but I'm well, sorry you have to go we do have a soldier at least so. we do yes uh, and let's see aimed shot yeah I'll go ahead and just do four damage to it I will do I want to add a bullet to this uh I'll add a bullet to that one. Yeah. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and add two, so that way it's a cutting repost. Damage three, and then come on. There you go. Hey, All right. nice. All right, whatever. It's fine. I could throw three more bullets on there, and then just there's no restriction to the amount of bullets or, or spears you can use on any single one. Well, um, you can you can only use three. Oh, can you? I think that's oh. that's how it works. All right, well, um, he's dead. But at the same time, you know, if you're not gonna get mortally wounded, then... I don't want this abomination meat. <laughs> <laughs> I've decided I don't want it. Um, yeah, that's fair. After we'd... Oh, we gained 25 sanity for killing it. Wow. That's awesome. All right, so I'm going to show a feature of the game. These right here are geysers. They're making the water too high for me to cross right now. So I'm going to go ahead and wait without doing anything. I'm just going to sit here, and I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. Which, and waiting actually go. becomes a very important... Uh, mechanic for survival. Yes. Um, oh, it is working. The dry nice. lands are overriding the water. Very nice. And the guys are still in the middle of the fucking desert. Oh, that's so weird. All right, which shrine do I want to examine? I'll examine this one. Wow, there are so many. Uh, spears is a chasm, so I'm going to come back to that one. And this one is rushing water, so I'm going to use this one because the dry lands are still going off. Hmm. Uh, tome page of hill creation oh. another moonstone which moonstone stack uh, gold stuff doesn't uh, but I will take it all I think I'm going to leave my climbing gear behind I don't know yeah, I don't know yeah. I'm going to wing this thing I'm taking that llama fuck yeah alright so uh, what do I want I'm going to use this uh, tome page of hill creation so that we're standing on someplace secure Smart. Uh, I'm going to Jesus Christ, that's a lot of water. I'm probably not going that way now. I'm probably going this way. So I'm going to go ahead and well, throw out... Well, the dryland stuff actually might stretch past that water. It's possible. I'm going to go ahead and throw out the, the rope. Even though there's 16 of it, getting rid of it. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to use... The, I'm going to get rid of this. That's not going to sell for very much. Uh, I will drink a little bit of whiskey, but I can't drink all of it. I, I would get rid of the, the machete. I don't uh, think there's going to be a lot of trees. I actually only have two climbing gear left, and I have 16 machetes. Consider, though, now that you tossed your rope, yeah. you actually may have a hard time getting into other temples. And if Valid. we need to get into all the temples... Yeah, we need the climbing gear. Okay, yeah. fair enough. Uh, in that case, then, I'm just going to make a break for it and rapidly run this away. <laughs> you know, it's actually not too bad, considering... There, oh, chasm, chasm, oh. chasm, run. The chasm only expands to about five or six spaces. Oh, and the natives are so unhappy with me. What are we at? Negative 10? The 
maximum we can be. So native hunting. Oh <laughs> shit! The geysers are refilling the desert. <laughs> Man. So this is this is one of those this is one of those playthroughs that can get a little crazy. Sometimes <laughs> bad things happen. Uh, I don't know if I needed to get that way. I hope not. Yeah, let's hope not. I'm gonna head this way with the hopes that the golden pyramid is down there. Also, if you fall down a chasm, it is you, it's game over. Yeah, it is game over. It's... Uh, if you get. Uh, you know, it's funny, I'm, I'm dying in the desert of thirst, and yet there's all this water around me. <laughs> uh, so these are the natives. Um, they don't like me right now because I just sort of fucked with the landscape in the worst way possible. So I'm going to kill off the... Sh uh, there are no shamans, they're all warriors. Yeah. Uh, shamans of three health, warriors of four. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to save that. I'll do this. No, I won't do that. I'll do this. Uh, that's better. Oh, yes. In every way. Uh, I will throw another bullet on there because this guy does have just one health or two health left. Um, and I didn't get an eye, so it's not worth it. Yep. I'm going to take a little bit of damage here. But again, not too much. Not yeah, too actually, bad. Yeah, actually, it wasn't bad. That, that, that sucks. That was, that was bad. I'm going to start using bullets here. Um, so you... Get a headbutt. You get a headbutt. Uh, you get shot. And you guys all get shot. Awesome. Nice. All right. End the round there. And we're probably not going to die. No, we'll be fine. No, we'll, we'll, we'll be okay. We'll be Sometimes we do. Uh, I, I've noticed that s you still... S totally run the risk of them just targeting all the same character. Really? Um, it's happened to me a couple of times where, you know, everyone in my party was full health except they wanted to really murder one guy. <laughs> uh, and it sucks if you don't have a med kit because then they can just die. Yeah, a med kit or a uh, red mushroom. Red mushrooms are also uh, usable as med kits. I, I actually found the mushrooms to be a bit interesting because they're never explained what they do other than the description. So you can assume kind of, um, but you just kind of have to use them. Having a shaman in the party means that you regain sanity every time you use a mushroom. Which oh, is really? Hysterical. Uh, I will explore the campsite. We will search uh, in teams and, oh, look, I got one of those. Not at all useful. Yeah. Uh, attracted hungry wildlife. Oh, good. This was the hungry wildlife. So I have spears. <laughs> well, and spe Have you ever used a spear before? I know they function similar to bullets. But similar, but in every way better. Oh, Ready really? This? All right, so I'm going to throw a spear on there. And they're not useful right now, so I'm going to go ahead and save that. And here we go. So power spear, oh. and I'll deal six damage to something. This guy has five health left, so that seems convenient. Uh, I'm going to throw a bullet wow. on there. That's, that's actually pretty cool. Yeah, they, they do a little bit extra damage, but they're not useful on their own, whereas a combat die can just be used as a straight combat die. The spear right. die has its own specific thing. I, I really like that difference, yeah. actually, because I thought they they functioned the same, so no. I was always on the side of, well, I already have a shitload of bullets. Why would I get spears? spears? Uh, they only stack up to five, but their combos deal four, six, and eight instead of one, two, and mm. five, or whatever it is. Um, so let's see here. Uh, I've got this guy, and I've got that guy, which is a point blank, so I'll use it to kill yeah. him. I can change targets basically at will, which is something that I love about the game, uh, that it doesn't just lock you into attacking whoever's in like in front. Yeah, that would be incredibly frustrating if that be, were the case. It would be. Uh, and I'll take wow. outstanding tactics. Sure, I'll gain four, uh, four defense, and they probably won't do <laughs> anything to me. Uh, I, I love, love that. when that's effective. All right. Uh, so point blank or aim shot him, get him. Eh, I'm gonna get this guy with that. All right. Now they're both down to okay. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a bullet in there, and I'm gonna do two damage to this guy, and I'll throw a bullet in there and deal three damage to this guy. Nice. Done. All right. Cool. Uh, well, that's all for this episode. All right. Uh, so we will. Again. Sorry. I, yeah. I do that <laughs> uh, I'll take it all. I guess. No, I don't want the cocoa leaves, but I do want those. Ah, red mushrooms, just what we were talking about. You know, I, I usually take cocoa leaves anyway, even if I go insane. Um, it's, <laughs> it usually isn't bad enough to... Uh... I don't know, man. Kleptomania and paranoia, because your friends are doing cocaine in the woods. It's, it's bad. It's bad. <laughs> it, it can be pretty bad, right, but... We'll pick up this fight next time. See you guys in the archives. The rifle is my favorite, though. The rifle. Oh, my God, the rifle. Oh, I've never used the rifle. Dude, if you get a rifle and two eyes... Uh, you get a headshot, deals 10 damage. <gasps> what? Yeah.